What's up, YouTube? This is Big Mike, Mike Soul. Um, I want to say congratulations to the Miami Heat for their victory in the Eastern Conference semifinals against the Brooklyn Nets. They defeated them tonight. They the score was 96-94. They won four games and one. They await the winner of the Washington Wizards. Indiana Pacers series, and yes, I named the Wizards first because they deserve to be first because the Pacers, like, they don't want to win this series. They were up three games with one, uh, had the game at home, the series there for the taking, and they lay an absolute fucking Denver Broncos-like egg in the game. Lost by, I think, something uh, approaching 30 points, and they deserve, to me, in my opinion, to lose the series. All right, they don't want to win a championship. They don't apparently want to win a series. They're taking this. They're taking. It seems like they take their opponent lightly. Uh, Gortat looked like fucking. I don't know Moses Malone out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just don't understand it. But uh, it went to win that series. But the point of this video is, you know, I, I love the history of the sport. And um, last year, I did my top 50 players by position. And there was a guy who I considered putting in my top 10, but I didn't. I, I just couldn't put him at that particular time over Alex English. Um, I, maybe I'm, I'm too much of a stickler for certain accolades and milestones. And, you know, I, I just didn't feel comfortable putting him yet in that position at the time. But around mid-January, well, I say around January, I should say mid-season, I started reassessing certain things and um, I can definitively say that if Paul Pierce has indeed played his final game, that he is in my top ten as far as small forwards of all time. Um, Alex English, I have all the respect in the world for you. You're one of the greatest small forwards that ever played this game. But Paul Pierce has supplanted you. As a top 10 small 40, at least in my assessment. Um, as a matter of fact, I have to put Paul Pierce up to number 9 and bring uh, James Worthy down to number 10. Um, and as a matter of fact, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of changes on this list. Uh, I can see in the next coming years. Because there's a fella who... Now, I got to remind you guys, I'm a big, big stickler on overall longevity numbers. Some people may rank people a little bit differently than me. Some people may have certain guys higher than me. And that's just the way some people have different styles, different tastes. It doesn't mean that any of us are wrong. It's just that some people have their own methods of ranking people. And we all have to respect that. And But there's a guy who... <laughs> is an MVP player and if they are somehow uh, if they somehow uh, won a championship I would have to reassess some things. Now I, I don't feel comfortable putting it on my top 10 yet um, because generally I don't like to put players in my top 10 list who, hasn't, who haven't played at least 10 years. That's just me. I don't, I don't like putting guys on my list unless they play somewhere around 10 years. That's one of the reasons why I had LeBron ranked only third at that time on my other list, or excuse me, on my small forwards list because I think at the time he only played barely 10 years. And, but there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, I can see for this season and for years to come, um, short term. Small four position, the rankings, 
it's gonna be some changes and uh, but one thing I want to say in this video is Paul Pierce the numbers speak for themselves I mean I'm not gonna go into too much detail I'll do that later on when I um, do my list but he passed the 25,000 point milestone that was the milestone I was looking for um, I wanted him to crack that I wanted him to achieve the same milestone that uh, Alex English did um, 25,000 points to 2008 NBA championship um, of course he never won the MVP award but Paul Pierce multiple time um, all-star you know finals MVP you know you, you, there's nothing that anyone can tell me that would convince me not uh, con they can convince me that Alex English was a superior player to Paul Pierce at this stage, you know.